they are the toxic ones. Mm. And we make them aware to say, I, Baba, not in our name, not in our brotherhood. You mm. need to change. Uh, we don't mm. tuck them away. We bring them closer. And- I, I, I want to know the soul impetus. Why does it resonate you so much that you need to empower each other? Why is that important? I, I think it's important because I think with, 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 with our group, uh, we guys who are hungry, who are, who are passionate mm. about life, who we want to see ourselves succeed. So it's mm. not like we, we would want to see one succeed. We all want to see each other succeed. <laughs> My starters, today is a special day. I've got a long-time friend of mine. His name is Moses Temba. I'm going to allow him to introduce himself fully because as people, we are different. We have our strengths, we have our skill sets, and we have our backdrop of our lives. So I'll give him that opportunity to introduce himself. But why I have him on the platform today is because ideally we see stock fails to be associated around the money or grocery aspect. But not so long ago, he founded a stock file that speaks to issues of beyond money. So issues of brotherhood, building each other up, more of a social project that he's running around this particular stock fell without limiting the issue of money, because that money aspect is still part of the stock fell. And then over and above that, I'm going to use this opportunity, rest in peace to Ricky Rick. As a male, I'd like him to give us a bit of perspective around the issues of mental health and how he sees certain things and will dabble here and there around what affects us men and how society at large is affecting us. Mr. Temba, Mr. Moses Temba, welcome to It Starts With You Network with Les. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hulani, my long-term friend. Uh, It's an (laughs) honor uh, to be invited on your platform. Uh, I'm glad to be part of it, uh, of this growing movement, because I can see it's going to be huge. So for me to be invited uh, to make it while it's still starting. So I feel honored. Uh, who am I? Oh, wow, dog. I thought you'd introduce me. Now I must introduce myself. <laughs> <laughs> the spotlight okay. is on you, bro. <laughs> the spotlight is with me. Okay, but in a in nutshell, guys, um, like you said, my name is Moses Temba. Uh, I'm a guy from the hood. I grew up in Alex. Uh, I'm a father, I'm a brother, I'm a friend to many. So I'm just a guy who's in touch with what's happening around around himself. Uh, hence, uh, we're going to have this discussion that you've put forward. So yeah, as it goes, you guys will also learn to, to get to know me throughout this interview. So yeah, it all. Perfect. And not only throughout this interview, but throughout the lifespan of It Starts With You Network, because I want to feature you a lot. Since I've learned a lot from you, we need to transmute that information towards the starters as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. You guys will be seeing this face uh, quite often from now on, because we want to share what's in our heads to, to, to the world. And I think we can make a huge impact. Definitely. Speaking about impact, let's jump straight into the issue of stock fails. There's the conventional stock fails, right? Where people yeah. just save money. It's about profiting or you're saving towards a particular cause. What's your yeah. view of stock fails in South Africa at the moment? Um, I, I think uh, with, with stock fail, it's, it's a very growing uh, big uh, market and a platform whereby we're seeing people in our communities, doesn't matter your social class or how much you earn, but it, it's something that kind of uh, keeps communities together and disciplined. And obviously the one goal is to save for whatever a bigger outcome that they have chosen for themselves. So I think stock fills, if they can be managed properly, they've got a long way uh, of going. No, definitely. And speaking of managing them properly, when we look at stock fails as a whole and the impact that they have and the management thereof, I'm wondering what made you now look at it from a different vantage point and perspective and come up with this brotherhood stock fail. What is this brotherhood stock fail? Okay, 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 Doc. Uh, Brotherhood stock fail is an initiative that um, myself... Monde and, and Silo, uh, we, we founded the Stockfell. 
uh, it actually the original idea was from uh, a guy by the name of Richard, who had a similar concept with the guys Bakosowich, but theirs was not principled in terms of how I'll lay our stock fail in terms of how it came about. But so basically how uh, we founded this stock fail together with the two guys, I think I should give them credit uh, as much as I, I, I put more effort into seeing it uh, uh, come out. But I think they also had a lot to contribute. But the Definitely. whole point of, yeah, I think the whole point of us starting this stock fail was looking at our, our uh, December hectic lifestyle in terms of that, you know, when it comes to December, you get to spend a lot in terms mm. of the activities you're on leave and whatnot. So we're like, you know mm. what, guys, instead of using our 13th check, uh, let's start from January to save up for our December uh, activities that we engage in. But mm. then from that, from saving, it also now grew beyond just saving, whereby we meet on a monthly basis. Mm. And our meeting is not just about the, the money. We now grow into starting to learn about the brothers. You know the but they food. say, but they say money makes the world go round, man. So how is it I, not the principal thing that you are focused on? No, we, we didn't want to focus too much on money because as much as we're saving for, let's say, December, yeah? mm. but I, I felt like because now, remember, we're too much into our careers now. We're, we're family men now. We, mm. we don't no, no, no longer have the time to go out and socialize as often as we want. So what mm. we also make it be part of is that every month, without fail, we, we one from our group, we we'll choose one guy who hosts us so that we, we meet each other for that month. We catch up. We find mm. out what's happening around whose lives. Whoever maybe needs a job. We, we come together. We see where we can help, you know. So it's mm. also part of a social uh, a get together of some sort mm. as part of uh, we save it. And mm. through that, we're able to build one another because within our, our, our stock field, we've got different guys from different backgrounds with different careers, mm. different mindsets, you know. Uh, some have been married longer than others. Others are not married yet. Some are in serious mm. committed relationships. So we, we're able to, to bring all these different backgrounds together to kind of shape ourselves in terms of growing and moving forward. So that's what uh, unique about about our stock firm. But what exactly drove you guys in that direction? Uh, which 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 direction? Which one? The direction of empowerment. The direction of enabling each other and focusing on aspects outside of money. I I, I want to know the sole impetus. Why does it resonate you so much that you need to empower each other? Why is that important? I, I think it's important because I think with, 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 with our group, uh, we guys who are hungry, who are, who are passionate mm. about life, who we want to see ourselves succeed. So it's mm. not like we, we would want to see one succeed. We all want to see each other succeed. And in that angle, we all want to help each other grow as individuals. Mm. So that we can be mm. like better husbands, you know, better partners, better friends. So it, it all comes to having that banning hunger to succeed and see those around you succeed as well oh wow no that's amazing back to the money money makes the world yeah. go around <laughs> so, so so tell me exactly the strategy around the money part of things like how does the the machine of your stock file work okay so with, with us it's like your your basic stock file that you you get you go to the bank open a stock file account. Then you've got your three members, chairperson, secretary, and the treasurer. But okay. with us, because, because remember I told you that we're not saving to buy a house, we're not saving to buy a car. Mm. Our, 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 our stock file is centered more on brotherhood. Hence, hence it's called brotherhood. The, the, no, the money... I, I get that. I get that. But I yeah. want you to know, basically, if there's a person who's watching this and they want to learn and, and start a stock sale from scratch. Yes, with all these other elements, but a young person now has just uh, started working 
and they have like-minded people around them, how do they go about it? So you've already went the route of they go to the bank, they open a bank account, they designate um, particular functions of leadership within the stock fell. And then what's next? Do they choose a particular amount? What did you guys do? Yes, yes. So what 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 we we've done with 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 our 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 cap in terms of mm. how much one can save, we basically set it to a limit of one thousand rand that one maximum. each member can maximum that each okay. member can put in the, the account, and the minimum that one can put is five hundred rand. And the whole idea of it as well is like we, it's not a, a stock for for flexing. If you've got extra money, open your own <laughs> savings account. You know. This is just <laughs> trying to also discipline our brothers within because some of them were not even able to save. So mm. with that thousand rand max, it encourages them to say, okay, I can put thousand rand here. Then mm. next time, as time goes on, they can learn to open other investments. So it's also mm. a teaching, a learning curve for a beginner. Because like most I of like us, we, we, never, we, we didn't even know how to save. So for now, we, we, we're keeping it at thousand rand. But as, mm. as, as the stock fell grows, as we're also growing, we, we, we're looking at it at uh, uh, upping the, uh, the scale. So the for contribution. Now it's, 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 yeah, it's a thousand rent. And then come December, then we share those thousand rent. So this is and every then, month. So yeah, this is every rent. month. Okay. Yeah, so this is a thousand rent every month. And then we meet every Saturday of the month. The, the last Saturday, first Saturday? The first first Saturday of, of, of every month. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then and then in that in that in the meetings, we're able to uh, check the books, who has done what. Okay. And then obviously at the end of the day, conversate, build relationships, you know. But then it also moved beyond the money, like I'm, I'm telling you. If, yeah. When you have a wedding uh, or a funeral or whatever that you're having with your family, you're also oh, able wow. to come through. So it's just beyond money as well. No, I, I, I absolutely like that. And I'll tell you why, what mm-hmm. I'm currently taking from this conversation. Yeah. One, when you read about issues of men not being themselves, being undermined, and that later leads to the conversation we're going to have later on around mental health, then there's mm-hmm. the issue of finances. As you are saying, that people were not saving within this group of peers within your stock fell, this brotherhood. Yeah. People are not saving. Yeah. So now you've encouraged them to have a bit of financial and uh, financial literacy and, and an ability to be disciplined. So that's lesson True. number one. People can be disciplined, but also the power of collaboration. You guys came together as three mm-hmm. people, then it led to how many members do you now have? Uh, now we're currently sitting on 19. We're just sitting on 19. 19. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's, that's very impressive. Yeah, we only have one seat left. So I think that one will be reserved for you. Because we're, oh, so, so you kept it maximum. at that 20. Yeah, we want to keep it a maximum of 20 because we want to have as much as connection as we can. So we feel mm. like the more we are, it's going to lose that, you know, that specialness. Mm. So we can't mm. go 19 now. So we nice. started at 18, I'd, I'd actually you know, be honored. <laughs> I'm taking the yeah. invitation. <laughs> yeah, dog. So the seat is reserved for you. We were, we were nice. actually 19. We were, we were nine when we started the, the, the whole wow. brotherhood thing. Wow. And then I like the expansion. It, it, it almost went down, but through perseverance, uh, you know, when you've got friends, you're like, yo, dude, I'm involved in this kind of, they got interested. So now we're actually mm. like sitting on, on, on 19. Okay. Then working with that figure, you said you guys come together first Saturday of every month to discuss yeah. the book and to build each other up. Okay. Where do you meet? Who decides where you guys go? How does that work? Okay. So, so what happens is that um, within our, our, our brotherhood, we've got mm. guys from... In Pretoria, we've got guys in LA, we've got guys in Soweto, Kahi, mm. so Cosmo City. So the secretary mm. will build a roster. We'll build a roster to say, okay, mm. this month, uh, Moses Temba is hosting us in Cosmo City. So mm. it's my duty. We don't we don't go to like your house because you also mm. want to like socialize and have fun. So we'll okay. choose like a, a venue. We'll choose like mm. a venue where there's like a news cafe, 
you know mm. and then mm. where there's like this music guys can have their drinks and unwind so mm. i it was my turn it was my turn to host for mm. example like on the 5th of march we mm. actually going to uh, deep proof mm. uh, uh, one of our the guys is hosting there so mm. we're going to deep proof uh this earlier this month they were here in 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 in, in cosmo city mm. uh we had our closing for december in pretoria so it mm-hmm. also just also gives us an opportunity to see all those different places that i would not normally go see so we'll have each member hosting the guys for that mm. particular month and mm. then when you when you when you're hosting we basically come with like 100 rand for food Mm. And then we okay, all... so th- there is an additional money element to it. Yeah, yeah, that you have to come with 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 hundred rand uh, for food, and mm. then so that they can be catering for the day. And then obviously, okay. drinks, some guys don't drink some drinks, so the drinks will be from your own pocket. But we okay. also do have fun. We also fine as well, which they contribute to the entertainment for the day. Like if you do late oh, payment, okay. you don't apologize that you're not gonna come. You come late discipline mm. for those who watch because we have a uniform i'll, I'll forward you oh, some pictures okay part of the, this talk yeah we have a uniform oh, okay. so if you, you come you look shady we we'll find you you must look clean <laughs> on the day you must go get a haircut it's all about being a gentleman and you know so you come yeah. get a haircut night we we'll find you our fine is 150 so oh Ooh, it's even more than the food <laughs> yeah so you must behave. Isn't it? We're pushing like discipline because yeah. if you don't, then you'll end up uh, uh, coughing up. So that's how we get to get together every month. So we rotate. No, I I like that. I like that. I like that. Maybe let's yeah. jump into three empowerment tools. One, it's the employment element where you are you you are you are discovering each other's challenges and then where you can uplift each other so is everyone free enough to come up and say um guys i have this issue it's like me now asking about people's ability to talk about their problems as men so are are you guys intimate connected and free enough to talk about issues in the stock yeah i think i think that's what also makes our stock feel very special because i mean even if you have problems at, at home you're mm. able, obviously, we're not going to connect the same with everyone because we're 19. But yeah. some specific uh, topics or problems you are able to share with the, those close ones within the, mm-hmm. the, the stock belt to say, you know what, living at home, to say, dog, I'm, I'm having one, two, three issues, you know. But mm. uh, with employment issues, we've made it so open uh, mm. to the guys to say, uh, especially when it was COVID, because a lot of guys mm. had retrenched and whatnot so there was mm. a, a lot of guys who came forward to say you know what guys i'm struggling so every time we'll see a, like a post related to the guys field we'll put it up mm. in the group they'll apply you know we had mm. we've got one guy who's doing installation for garage this automation and whatnot so from nice. one from time to time we'll even call up one of the guys to say you know come through let's do some work together okay as a service so, provider for one of you guys Exactly. So mm. he, so we, 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 we open in, in, in that, in that, in that, in that perspective, dog, and it's, it's helping a lot because, you know, sometimes you can have so much on your shoulders and in your head. Mm. And mm. You just need a platform of people who would listen, and I think Definitely. this particular brotherhood offers that platform outside your, you know, what you normally used to. Mm, I like that, bro. I I, I honestly like that. I yeah. honestly like yeah. that. Now, I want us to jump into the issue of men's mental health, right? Yeah. Um, obviously, you and I, outside of this interview, were saddened by the passing of Ricky Rick, and it sparked a lot of conversation. People are yeah. battling out there, right? Um, Have you had situations where your mental health was depleted? Um, And if so, how did you maneuver and navigate and get out of that bottom pit? Okay, no, all right. No, thank you, Doc. I think uh, if I can continue with that, I also like to say, you know, RIP to to Ricky. Mm. 
Um, I, I think um, I remember just to share one moment in terms mm. of how he made me feel as an artist. Um, mm. I was at the I was at the dome. Casper uh, Nyovest fill up the dome. Um, he came through on stage. Mm. Um, I'm normally, especially when there's a crowd, I I I I relax. I like to chill. But when the guy came mm. on stage, I I do I had my t-shirt off. He made me take my t-shirt off. Off. Oh. And I was like I was like skinny as fuck, dog. I was doing <laughs> like this. I went crazy. Like even yeah. today, there's no artist who can make me clap my hands because I'm that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Ricky, Ricky, take off my t-shirt in, in, in the, in the, at the dome so wow. yeah that, that, that was sad man so I hope tomorrow his funeral um, goes well because I had it getting late tomorrow but mm. to go back to your question dog I think uh, in this life you're always gonna you're always gonna have those moments you know there's always gonna mm. be moments when sometimes you do a little wrong Sometimes you make a huge, a huge wrong. And sometimes you feel mm. like, oh, how am I going to get out of, of this one? I, I think, I think, I think, Les, um, you know that this, 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 this life has got a lot of challenges whereby uh, you get hit hard and you ask yourself, like, how am I going to uh, get out of this? What, what did I do to even get here? You know, sometimes you even blame yourself. But I think mm. what has helped me personally in terms of getting out of the dark the dark zone mm. i think a lot of guys that unfortunately we don't have is that i i have a very strong father figure around me mm. and he's a very great example and he doesn't speak much but mm. like you know that if i go to him i say yo timer give low one two three you know you you mm. always um uh, know how to say the right things but even mm -hmm. besides that i think uh being i know that sometimes it's not easy but i my my partner is my best friend mm. my wife is my best friend i that's good to hear to, broski that's good to hear <laughs> yeah dog and and uh, she she knows how to to pick me up mm. uh but i'm also open to her to share my deep dark whatever whatever that I'm going through so mm. from that she's, she's able to also kind of pick me up so I, I basically use the people around me even friends you know I can come to you get your dog eight, one two three and you must also have friends who are straightforward straight talkers who mm. can say ah baba you the one who flopped you wrong mm. you know Mm. Not even take mm. flight. So I think having a group of those people uh, mm. uh, is very important in terms of helping one get out of a, a, a dark zone, you know? Mm. Mm. Yeah. So because this thing of saying, uh, man, mm. you know, mm. and mm. must not cry. Uh, and what the society has created in terms of men must, men must, you know, in mm. Dama. Mm. So mm. that that as well it, it weighs heavy, and I think mm. it's time we as men we must be stubborn. But learn we learn what must. No, I can't. I, I can't take you to Kong. I can't buy mm. shampoo. You know, mm. you, you mm. must not be shy to say just because my friend has that house, that is the best I can. I can. You know, having that mm. mental strength to be happy and content with what. God has, has blessed you because some of this uh, 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 wanting to compete, uh, keeping up with the Joneses, yeah. I think as well sometimes it, 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 it contributes too much to the, the, the stresses that the society is getting into because now you start getting into debts, you know. Not that mm. I want to put blame on anything but I'm just highlighting certain things that can make one not even realize the good life that you have. You know, mm, mm. I'm digressing a bit. Eh? No, no, no. You're actually on the ball, on the ball in the sense that I gathered you are speaking about contentment, but most importantly, you are speaking about communication, talking, not being shy to express yes, yourself. 
Yes. Um, and then and then maybe not use the word stubborn or me personally, I wouldn't use the word stubborn, but being assertive, asserting your position and making your partner or whoever you are pursuing yeah. understand yeah. that this is me. Accept me for who I am. Um, yeah. don't, don't, don't make me succumb to unnecessary pressures that I don't want. So in just, that's what I gathered from there. And so you guys go to Stockwell. These are some of the conversations, hard conversations that, that you speak about. Yeah, dog. This is, this is some of the conversations that we speak about. You say, if, if, if this a friend A is driving a Beamer and, and you still taking an Uber, don't mm. feel bad. You know, your time mm. is coming. You, you understand? Mm. Uh, uh, our times are, are, are different. You, mm. the other one might be driving a Benz, but you might also find that there's certain aspects of your life that are of quality that mm. you must uh, hold on to. You know, you might find that you've got a strong family bond. As much mm. as now you want to say you don't have a, a, a car like that, that other one, but when you look at other mm. aspects, we'll be able to guide ourselves to say, as much as yes, this aspect of yours is not working. But look at the structure of your family, you know? Mm, you mm. guys, you've got beautiful kids. You are happy. So don't focus too much on the other things, but look here, you know? And uh, you'll find guys who are honest enough to say, yeah, hey, to me, yeah, hey, you know? They mm, kind of mm. change their mindset to say, I was just trying to answer the sense that I get a car, but now since you're saying this, you know, let me tone it down so those are the the things that that we speak about even even when it comes to relationships you know mm. uh, I don't, not to mention names we have had few guys who have been having problems you know mm. Where, mm. In, the, in the in the in the relationship and we mm. were able to, to to sit them down and some would find they are the toxic ones mm. and we make them aware to say i baba not in our name not in our brotherhood you mm. need to change uh, we don't mm. chuck them away. We bring them closer, and, mm. and we make sure that we 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 monitor them. You know, I was actually speaking to one of the brothers today just to find out how how he's doing. He, he had a bit of a hectic, you know, situation mm. in his situation. Life. Yeah, yeah, mm. and then you know he he's he's happier now. He even managed to move out of that relationship to say, you know what, I think I deserve better. Let me just also mm. just move away. And he's much happier now. So we're able to 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 engage, you know, in, in those in mm. those type of conversations. So yeah, Doc. No, no I, I, I applaud this initiative and this talk fell that you guys came up with, particularly because of that unique selling point, as it were, the same unique selling point that's now gonna bring me on board so that I'm yeah, not left yeah. behind, you know, kiss up like a bro. <laughs> ah, you must jump in. You must meet different guys, crazy guys, poker god pastas, clowns. <laughs> the whole meet, the whole bag, the whole bag. Now nah, that that's awesome. Now for the people watching, I I want them to understand something, Moses. Oh, yeah, Mister Timber. I want them to understand that this channel is very diverse, and when we dwell into subjects we understand the sensitivities around them. So I am going to interview two psychologists that are going to yeah. attend to the questions of mental health from a professional scientific point of view. So I right. want to emphasize that what we are speaking about now, it's our opinion, it's our experience, and it's what has worked for us in relation to the mental health aspect. Now, if I may ask you, is enough being done to help the men and people in particular, as, 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 as a race, the Black nation as a race, Africa yeah. as a continent, is enough being done to address the social ills that lead us into these mental illness-driven positions? Yeah, no, yeah, thank you for saying that as a disclaimer, because we're not, we not expect when it comes to mental health, we just yes. care, caring, like you said, what was, has worked for us, you know, I'm just a, a normal family man doing a nine to five. Uh, so I'm just sharing my experience, what has worked for me. Mm. But to answer you, I, 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 don't, I, I don't think uh, a lot is, is being done, you know, because when you mm. even start at a high school level, because I think this should, should, should start at high school, 
you know mm-hmm. um, men should be taught on, on, on mental health uh, issues men should be mm-hmm. taught that it's okay uh, 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 for a woman to work and you not to work because that's still taboo mm. uh, but it's vice versa if it's, it's, it's the woman who's, who's, who's not working so mm. you see certain small things like that that needs to be shifted so yeah. uh, even from the political level, in terms of the, the campaigns, we need to see more of those things on TV. Not only yeah. when there's a, there's a public figure who has taken his or her life and then it, 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 we start talking about it and within mm. two weeks the line we forgot, then we go mm. back to our own self and start living like how we've been living. So yeah. I think politically, politically uh, from a political level, it needs to shift. From, from from an ordinary Moses Temba, who's just a man who has a family, he also needs to change his mindset. We need mm. to change the mindset of those around us, our friends, you know? Mm. We need to be taught or you need to learn how, as a man, because I think everything is all inside and we can't see what's on the inside. So mm. we, we need to be taught how to talk, how to, how to cry, you know? Mm. I was watching uh, Big Brother, Big Brother, not long ago. Mm. There was a mm-hmm. guy who got yesterday by the name of Norman. I, mm. I loved how he was able to show himself to the world that I'm, I'm emotional. I cry. Oh, Norman, I Norman, Pella Urata. Hey, my wife loves Norman. Oh, shame. She'll be sad to hear because he didn't watch. <laughs> Norman is out and he got <laughs> kicked out while he was crying for you mm. because you only got eliminated. So, mm. he could, you know, after you, so he was still crying for my mom. <laughs> oh, shame, man. <laughs> They're like, okay, but I'm not laughing. <laughs> and then the is late. No, like, no, we are. Big Brother is entertainment. So, there we are. Yeah. Our laughing, we are not laughing out of judging. We are laughing at yeah. it's entertaining. That, it's you know, as you say, it's entertaining. Yeah. Ah, but my mom is out. It's out. <laughs> yeah. but, but, but I was just saying that. The, 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 the character, his character, you know, mm, it's, mm. it's not every day that you see a black man like him who, who, who just who cry. So mm. uh, we need, there's, there's a lot, man. There's a lot that needs to be done. You know, in our church, uh, mm. our pastors, they need to put this as part of their sermons, you know, preach about mm. mental health, just to empower yeah. us, have workshops, you know. I used to love sometimes watching what Steve Harvey used to do in the mm. U.S., getting mm. men together, man, men that grew up without fathers, you know, mm. Mm. teaching them on how to become a man, how to fast a tie. Mm. So many things. And we as young men as well must not run away from our kids. We need mm. to raise them. Boy, boy kids, we need to raise mm. them into men because we mm. also have the syndrome as guys that you impregnate a woman and then you're gone. Mm. The woman is left alone. She's also dealing with her things. So, but you as a man, you're also uh, able to play a part, you know, mm. in making mm. the man grow up to say, you know, boy, it's okay. I got you. Mm. Because if, if you know that, no, this man, like I told you before, I have a strong father figure and I know that if I go and say, hey, dad, moshi. Mm. You know, I know it's there. Mm. So even us as men sticking with our kids, I think you know, there's there's a lot, dog, that I can say that needs to be done. But that's my just my two cents, uh, just to answer you. You know, when two cents, when you value two cents, and then it's worth a hundred dollars. That's the yeah. amount of wealth. That's the amount of wealth that you just shared, buddy. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, do you think? Yeah. So with all that said, do you think women cope better with mental health or it's just a matter of it's, it's the same both sides? Maybe the instruments are not the same. I, I, I think, uh, like I said, I'm not an expert. I, I, yeah. looked, at, I looked at the stats, but I mm. actually, I tend to be corrected because it was someone who just posted. I did not actually go on to and research the source. Yeah. yeah. So I actually saw that more women are killing themselves as to as to men in South Africa. I stand to be corrected. Is that are you are you are you aware of that? From from the data that I've gotten, I've gotten that it's more women who attempt to kill themselves more than men, but men are more successful at it. 
or they know they don't actually uh, 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 pull through with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. So, so, so that attend. So, let's use for example the consumption of poison. So, I, yeah. I would consume the poison, but, but not actually. I'll, I, I would it. get saved, you know. I would get yeah. saved, and after after I get saved, then possibly I, I don't go back to reattend because then life works out somehow, you know. Versus yeah. then we have attributes of strength. So so from from a physique point of view, you know, if I'm gonna do something, um, I'm likely to succeed at it better than a woman who's considered physically weak. You know, yeah, so th yeah. that's poss that's possibly a contributing cause. But let me not disturb your train of thought there. Okay, I just just repeat. What was your quick question, Doc? I, I no, it was it was around women coping with um yeah. with mental health. Do you think it's it's equal or better, or it's just? Uh, um... I, I, I I I from from my observation, I, I would say that women tend to have naturally they tend to have more endurance to pain you know they are they are more to uh, 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 control stress better than men they are more calmer mm. because they've mm. got that motherly nature in them and you know as women they've always been you know they've yeah. Always, yeah so with them the challenges has always been associated with women to say women really carry the, the family you know so i think mm. with, with mm. them especially being taught that to say as a lady you know so as you grow as you grow with that uh, you know a woman can not work but mm. they'll, they'll, they'll know they'll, they'll make sure the kids eat you know mm. For, you, in, in, in a household if there's a woman you know that you'll never go hungry so i think mm. with them they have this a better, I don't know whether it's emotional intelligence or is it just mm. upbringing mm. or the what society has created to say they they can hold or, or control challenges way better than us. So I think the women have an upper hand as mm. as compared to me because if I'm not working, you society will read. Judge mm. me. You, mm. you understand? Uh, I get you. Uh, so that alone, it has killed me. But a woman, at least, you know, she doesn't stress that much to say, I'm not working. She's able to tolerate the man, only him bringing the income. But if it's, it's the other way around, you know, so those mm. uh, um, uh, things, they, they, they just help them cope better. So wh mm. but, but, but what's your take? What, what's your take? What's your take on that? I'd like to hear your view. My view is I concur with you to a very large degree. And the degree is that women have been brought up. For, for now, my take has been molded by conversations that I've had in recent times, right? Yeah, so yeah, women yeah. Have, been, have been brought up. And these are conversations that I've also had with women. You know, you'll see that there's another interview linked to Manama Bena and mental health is also one of the aspects that we touched on and she unpacked it very nicely, like proper. So yeah. taking from that and given that um, with every conversation that I have, I am empowered to see a broader view or sometimes a more vivid and concise view. So my take yeah. is that women are brought up to be stronger. Why? Because they've gone through more than males have, through the exclusions of the past, through struggles of abuse, you know, hence the elements of GBV coming out and being um, at the forefront, you know. If I were to ask you now, Uri, do you know when Mental Health Awareness Month is? You know, Yo. it's, it's yeah. unlikely that you would. But if I ask you 16 days of activism, do you know it? The likelihood is yeah. there that you would, December. you know. You yeah. know, so, so it's with that element of focusing on certain aspects. So women have been brought up, they've been inculcated to be better, to think yeah. better, to endure the struggles, to tolerate, as you've said, you know, as you yeah. use that, that, that idiom yesterday that you used, they've been brought up yeah. to tolerate better than men. And then men have been brought up to, to be shy about their, their, their issues, to be sensitive towards sharing their issues, mostly because maybe they've, 
they've endured criticism, they've endured blame, they've endured um, abuse of a certain kind, they're being undermined and being suppressed and pressed down, you know? So that social upbringing makes it difficult for men in this particular aspect of mental health to come out tops or to come out yeah. better. Or, or yeah. So women have been brought up to be better in that particular aspect. I'm not used to being on the other side now, being asked the question. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, just, I, I, I just wanted to hear your take on that, you know. But, but yeah. also, how, how you, have, you have actually said, said a mouthful. Because yeah. what you're saying, especially, it's what we're doing to, to men or what society is doing to men. So yeah. I think we just need to flip the page and look at this whole life thing differently because now it's the 21st century now it's not like, yeah. like in, in, in the days of our forefathers culture is yeah. more you know? yeah i can't be the same as my dad how he was back in the 90s you know yeah it doesn't move like that so i think a lot of dynamics have changed and we as men must move according to those changes and embrace them as well mm. you know mm. Mm. And talking and about women mm. Mm. You know, no you can carry on yeah I wanted to be talking about women uh, and enjoying all that hardships, you know, mm. being brought up with that discipline. I yeah. think your picture at the back also says a lot, you know. Shout out to that. <laughs> I like it. I love this picture, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks so yeah, much. I, I, I want us to jump into holistic health a bit. You and I, for those that don't know, we are environmental health practitioners by profession, right? Uh, yeah, and yeah. if you remember the definition of health that we learned back in first year, that WHO definition, health is not merely yeah. the absence of infirmity, right? It's holistic yeah. in its nature. Health so looking at that, but yes. So looking at that particular aspect now, what would you say? Let, let me let me lead you a bit into my question so that you don't get lost in the translation of what I'm, I, I want to ask. What is your okay. take around issues of meditation, diet, exercise overall and its impact on, on, on mental health? I, I, I think I think uh, uh, life in general as an individual, when you look at health, you always need to find a, a balance, you know? Mm. Uh, I think those play a huge role on, on mental health because uh, your diet, uh, w- even what you consume in terms of reading, watching, mm. the people mm. you associate with, you know, church, mm. exercise, mm. family dynamics. So it's mm. all a, a ball uh, because you can, you, you, you get sick from stress. You can get stress. You get stress, yeah. you get sick. You know, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, your life is going to have an imbalance if, if, if there's certain aspects that are not uh, uh, balancing, you know. Mm-hmm. So I think mm-hmm. uh, in terms of health and mental health, it, it, it's also very important to promote things like exercise, you mm-hmm. know, hiking, you know, things to COVID. Now we've been introduced to hiking. Some of us would never even have known about hiking. <laughs> this, is, this is a cool way of exercising. Come to look at it, you know. Yeah. Almost thing, going to church, uh, getting in touch with your spirituality inside. Those are um, what we modern men, because we just like clubbing. Clubbing is not going to feed your soul. Mm-hmm. You, need, you, need to, you need to pray, you know? So mm-hmm. the, the, all, all that, dog, it encompasses and, and, and it builds you as a person at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. So that's very important. Mm-hmm. No, I agree. It can be emphasized enough. And you know, I like how you alluded to the issue of what we consume. In other words, what we put into our minds, because you yes. get exposed to anything long enough, then you are likely to practice what you were exposed to. So if you, you get exposed to things that speak positivity, things that speak empowerment and building, then you are likely to think from a different vantage point and in a different perspective that empowers others, those around you. Like what you've done with the Brotherhood Stockfell. Does it have a yes. name besides the Brotherhood Stockfell? <laughs> you know, it's, 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 brother, it's Brotherhood. Or oh, actually, it's not just Brotherhood because when we went to open it at the, at the, the bank, the mm. Brotherhood was, was taken. So we had yeah. to add, uh, because we were polo, polo t-shirts. So we called mm. it Polo Brotherhood. Not, not that we, we drive polos, no. 
is the, our uniform, the emblem. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Oh, so your polo. regalia. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's Polo Brotherhood. So that's that's okay. the that's, that's the name of the of the stock fair. Ah. Okay. No, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Um, I've lost my train of thought a bit, but we're speaking about the issue health. of holistic health. Me. Yeah. Yeah, no. Oh, oh, I was basically saying like, like what your stock fell has basically done is to empower and build and you've exposed each other. And by exposing each other, you've passed it forward, right? You've passed the baton forward because by helping another gentleman deal with issues of his family, he's able when asked by another brother in the yes. future, whether it's five, 10 years from now, if you know, it helped him get out of a dark space. That in itself will help him empower others. And that's the whole goal. Sometimes you don't help people through charity work and money-related donations, but through your actions, right? So what people consume, they don't understand the impact of it. Hello, boy. <laughs> they don't understand the impact of it, right? Yeah, now, true. now, based on the issue of consumption, let's talk social media, my guy. Yes, dog. Yeah, the oh, impact of cool. social media on our mental health. What's your take on that? Yo, dog. You know, you know the 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 the, the issue of social media on, on our mental health. It it hits home, dog. Mm. It hits home because of how we have become slaves to 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 this technology. Because now everything is in our phone. You know, mm. you consume. Mm. Something can happen now in another world, and you get it like now, now. So, mm. and that 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 affects us. I, I remember I shared with you this other time. I don't know if you remember. To say I was I was I was actually on my phone, and I saw that story of this man who raped um, his daughter. Yes, I remember oh, that. I I it, it affected me because now it changed my my whole psyche. The my, mm. the whole day. The whole day mm. I was 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 out in terms mm. of being sad and my mm. mood being down. But even not sad stories per se, but even your Instagram, you know, because mm. Instagram mm. is all about flexing, keeping mm. up with the Joneses. Mm. When now you are there, we shall play papa, kayo mount, and I'm to shop three mil coins. Five star for me, yeah, yeah. But, dude, automatically, what does your mind do now? Mm. You don't like that meal anymore, you know. Mm. Mm. Uh, you find that you were happy with your where you stay. Hey, people are mm. posting those vacations now. You've got pressure to to go on vacations because people mm. are posting vacations. So I think social media, as much as it has done good, but it's done so much because now you've got people want to keep up with the Joneses, mm. you know. Uh, mm. People are take people are getting in debt. Because mm. they want to please even yeah. people that they don't even know. So yeah. that's the, 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 the sad part of... of and, and people have killed themselves mm. because of social media. Because mm. you would post uh, or you would take a video with your significant other mm. and it gets leaked. And you mm. find that you're caught in compromising positions. So, ah, man, social media, I, I don't know what needs to be done, but... I, it's, it's done more good than it's done more bad than good dog so that's that's my mm. take so so yeah. in essence as a platform people need basically if we all come together and use yeah. the platform in a positive way then mm -hmm. we are likely to have a much bigger impact and the platform itself will be used for something good i once interviewed a gentleman and we spoke about what triggers people into doing certain things, right? Mm -hmm. um, and, and he alluded to the point that negative things and negative emotions trigger a response. So, mm -hmm. for example, if now I put a video that is sick and, and, and portrays negative and bad things, that video may trend much more than a positive than video a positive of you teaching. True. You teaching your son how to tie a, a tie and sharing that on social media and that lesson can be shared with a thousand more people, right? 
but you um utlap him him. now yeah. you know yeah. smacking him that will you're gonna train you're gonna train i understand so there's something about we, uh, and we, we even share we even share that video we we, we share with the rest correct of the correct yeah. so so when you say you don't know what what can be done the truth is you are justified in saying that because now what triggers a response is the negative thing and the platform owners are profit based they need the most people on the platform and if negativity draws the most people you know the facebook drama and the saga that happened around them knowing exactly that negative the negativity on the platform uh, unsolicited negativity on the platform has helped grow them uh, their profits and despite the fact that they know they let it happen anyway because they are profit driven right so yeah. it's the same mentality of saying indeed we don't know what to do but if each and every individual as i always say on this channel it starts with you so if each and every individual on this channel changes how the algorithm behaves because at the end of the day now it's not mark zuckerberg and his people that are programming the algorithm it's too late for that the algorithm is now ahead of 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 everything that's happening in the world so we need to change and shift and mold the direction that the algorithm is going into one of my mentors is emmanuel sebunoko i consider him a media mogul because of the way in which he uses social media and he's won several awards he's worked with so many brands and in a video that i did about him early on in the early stages of this youtube channel i think it was the third video that i did about him it was about yeah. his journey and one of the things he speaks about when he was speaking to a crowd of high school uh, kids high school children one of the points yeah. he emphasizes that you must use social media productively use productivity. it to benefit yeah. productivity you know use it to True. benefit everyone that is involved so i like the fact that we don't necessarily know what exactly can be done all we can do is influence a particular narrative put forth a particular narrative to help change the direction you know yeah dog like things like you you know how much we hype uh negative things like black twitter because at the end of the day that that is that is harmful because it's all saying all those negative things about certain individuals but we like mm. we like that part about twitter so mm. that 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 thing we should should shift and th- those people should not be celebrated or even you don't even have to repeat that nonsense you must just block mm. you know then mm. start from mm. that sharing sharing positive things mm. using me but also mm. i think the whole as aspect regarding social media and 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 mental health is also yourself mm. how much are you consuming what are you yeah. consuming who yeah. cuz you can choose to follow different people on on different platforms yeah i don't think vusi tembagwayo can can make you stress cuz it's yeah. flexing cuz he's more yeah. of positivity so so you need to differentiate your okay do i follow someone who's going to post vacations all the time six pack no i worry about my body now <laughs> yeah, this nigga always posting six pack <laughs> trust me dog i know but in here yeah I like, yeah and one of the can they really bought that six pack <laughs> with the pills what are you and some of your diet that's not even supplement the six pack because you more pop six days a week you know <laughs> so even who you choose to follow Uh, affects your psyche how mm. sometimes like put your phone down mm. have time with your family you know go mm. cycling sit down by yourself plan your life mm. you know visit mm. your family read a book mm. so all that that will also just help you in terms of mental mental health and, and with social media I like yeah. the direction I, I I like the direction that that this conversation has gone in So just as a parting shot in relation to uh, the Polo Brotherhood um, thank you also in relation to issues of uh, shout out for that and also in relation to issues of mental health and social media what parting shots do you have for the starters I just just repeat that my son just distracted me dog okay no yeah. problem so yeah, just yeah. as a parting shot what what yeah. do you want to share with the starters in relation to 
the Polo Brotherhood, as well as mental health issues and social media? Yeah, you know what I would just like to share with the, the rest of the guys, you know, in the, in the country as in, in general, is that, um, guys, I would, I would love to see more of you starting this initiative that we have discussed about because it's a platform that makes one grow, you know. It's a platform that can just smaller than a contribution to what this, this thing that we faced with, which is uh, mental health, you know. It's just one aspect that can help a few if you really manage it properly because it also needs proper structure, uh, not just be uh, a stock fail which does not have foundation. So I think if you guys want to start this initiative, start it, start it at a proper structure. Um, make sure that you guys have strong members who also instill discipline and build each other don't don't flex don't you know just respect each other's brothers and trust me um the world can be a, a better place so i'm hoping to see more stock fills with our uh, influence starting uh and uh, they can hit us up if they need more information in terms of how we started it you know um i will be willing to share that Okay, no, nice one, nice one. I'd like to appreciate you, bro. <laughs> We're going to do a lot more of these. We're definitely going to do a lot more of these because I like the people that I have in my circle and I like the fact that you are in my circle. So we need to empower each other, but it mustn't just end in our circle, just like it mustn't end with the 1920 of you within the brotherhood. It must yeah. expand beyond that. And using such platforms, it shall expand beyond that. So we're still going to discuss on various issues as peers, as young people, because in our conversation together, you said that, you know, even though, like I shared with you, Ricky Rick was not necessarily, I'm not necessarily his biggest fan. You know, yes, I listen yeah, to yeah. his music, but, you know, and we have that one person that we believe is upper and shallow above the rest, right? So to me, yeah. he wasn't, I wasn't his biggest fan. But you, then I asked you, then why does it hurt so much that this guy, you know, has left us? Then you alluded to the fact that number one, he's our peer, you know? Yeah. And then mm. over and above him being our peer, also the impact. So he went beyond music. He pushed a movement that was beyond music. And so that's why even a person at a distance can be affected by the passing yeah, of this yeah, young legend, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. So let's let's use this platform as starters. I hope you enjoyed the conversation. Do the right thing. Like the video. Subscribe. And there's value here. So please also share the content as much as possible. But other than that, it starts with you. Thank you so much and cheers, guys. All right. Peace Manak. out, Mr. Hulani. <laughs> <laughs>